Hey folks, welcome. Jose here, and um, I'm gonna show you the DVDs that, uh, and uh, I think, and the two Blu-rays that I got this uh, last, uh, I think, two weeks or so. And um, yeah, I have I have bought that much, and I couldn't watch anything or almost not anything. I'm moving, as you can see here. I have. Steal the bed and, uh, and is, everything is packed in boxes. Um, yes, yeah, this is my first video. I come from Spain, but I live uh, right now in the Netherlands, in Holland, with my girlfriend. So yeah, I watch all the videos of, of you guys uh, on the YouTube, and I thought uh, I want to show you the movies that I'm getting at the moment and uh, show them with you. My movies, uh, the, the DVDs and Blu-rays that I get, it's like, it, it's not like a one genre or something. It's, uh, it goes from horror to comedies to classics to cartoons, everything. Although I love horror movies and so that's my main, yeah, my the, the largest part of my collection. But anyway, on this update, there are not so many, but we're going to start. Um, what's that actually? On screen? Sorry. Uh, well, the f first, first, I'm gonna show. I want to show you one, ones that I just got, but I haven't been able to watch them yet. The first one is a John Carpenter's, Car Carpenter's movie, and uh, I, I, I believe it's a remake. Yeah, it's a remake. Yeah, this one, and it's the um, the Village of the Dam. I I remember this one likely I think I thought the I thought the Mark Hamill Luke Skywalker was in here as the priest I'm not sure about it but I don't know if this was any good it stars uh, Kirsty Alley from uh, Lucas Talking and uh, it stars also Christopher Reeve, Superman. So this might be good. I don't know. Tell me about it because this was just one buck. It was. I thought, what the hell? Okay, the next one that I I watched and um, was any good. This was uh, this was a piece of shit. And it was uh, Lou Diamond Phillips in uh, Red Water. And the thing is, uh, they keep doing this shark movies over and over and over and and ripping off jaws and just stop making them i mean you, there's not any that that can top jaws and this one this one was kind of interesting because um, it's about uh, this bull shark and the interesting of this one and that's why i bought it was because um um it was the shark in I don't know how you call it in, in English actually. That, uh, that that swims in the river instead of being only on uh, in the sea, it's in the river. So that was kind of interesting. But they have uh, Coolio uh, acting here, and he's he he, he, he just acts. I don't know. I, I'm sorry, but he didn't act that good in this in this movie, and he he was in that one. Dracula 3000, I remember a really bad movie as well. I don't, I, I just, I remember I watched that one like 30 minutes from that movie and I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. But this one is basically this bull shark that gets into this, uh, this river and it's about, it's a shark movie attacking swimmers and everything. The only, there was only interesting kill when they're crossing the bridge and the shark comes from beneath the, from ben, from beneath the water and it just makes it jump and I, I don't know I, it wasn't any good i do not recommend this one to buy this one the next one is another horror movie and it's a sequel and this one came uh, i believe this one came like on the early 90s or late and this one has Bruce Campbell 
not as much as in the first one, but this is um, Mania Cup 2. And uh, this was this was pretty good, as in a slasher movie. I mean, it's it's really a B movie, but um, it, and the first one is a lot better. It's this cop that is uh, just as as the title says, Mania Cop and killing this cop crazy, killing everybody. And the cool thing is that you cannot see really his face. Actually, it's this kind of the form. There's a third part that. Uh, I, I don't know, I didn't care about that one. Uh, maybe in some point I get that one, I, I don't know. Um, well, the next one, the next one is one, is a sequel as well and was one of my favorite movies. One of those that I watched over and over when I was, uh, you know, was a little kid. And um, it's uh, it's Ivan Reitman's Reitman's you you pronounce it yeah from Ghostbusters made uh, Beethoven second this I mean uh, the first one was a thousand times better than this one um, the family was funnier the dog was funnier and the jokes worked better although this one. You know, it's still Charles Groban steals the show completely. Like in the first one, he's fantastic as a, as the father of the family. How crazy, how the dogs get on, on get on his nerves, and just that, that. I mean, and I don't know why he doesn't act more. I know he did that movie, the the X, two thousand and six, but like he didn't he didn't do a lot uh, before, and um, he's. Uh, it's a, it's a great movie, and this is about Beethoven. Um, that uh, he gets he gets a girlfriend, and um, they get puppies. And yeah, well, it's about the family taking care of the puppies, and um, and then there is like the owners of the of the girlfriend of Beethoven. They want to steal the puppies because they are worth a lot of money. So it's about them trying to get the girlfriend of Beethoven, and it's just a screwball comedy, and it's just very fun. It's one of those. If you grew up with these ones, you should watch this one. Are we going? It's uh, seven minutes. Uh, this is gonna be two part video, and I hate those things because I don't know how to make it longer than ten minutes. But anyway, the next one is one that I got recommended to get, and I just got it. I uh. I thought I was gonna be very scared of this movie. I mean, the the kid in the front cover, it really scares me, these kids that go with bags on the head. I don't know why, but it always creeped me out. And this is um, this is um, Michael Doherty, um, trick, trick or Treat. This is from 2007, and it's kinda like, um, a little like Creep Show, Tales from the Creep. Um, kind of movie with these mini stories in it, and the, the what I I mean, the mo the movie takes a, a little comedic turn in, in the middle. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't expect that. Although later, if you if you then get used to the comedic role, comedic uh, turn, it's I mean the movie works fine and it's really cool and. Um, the way that it's everything is connected with each other, that was what I like from the movie. And there are some scenes that are kind of scary and gory, like the the scene with the the kids going down the pit. That was really scary. And it's just about this. Um, it's a Halloween night and mini stories. Um, how not to break the rules of uh, Halloween. I, I've never celebrated Halloween. I wish I would have uh, celebrated, uh, but um, in my home country we never did. It's not tradition. So, but I, you know, I've watched a lot of movies from from United from America, and uh, I find a great tradition Halloween. Well, um, I want to make the part two right now. Otherwise, this gets a little tight. So, if you want to continue checking, I have some more. So, if you want to continue checking. Feel free to do so. So, see you in a moment.